Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IHW Unstoppable right here on Fight TV. What a show we have in store for you. We're going to show you some matches from our fabulous, fantastic, what we call the Mega Pass at IHW Wrestling. Fans play a few, pay a few extra dollars and they get to see some bonus matches. And these are some of those bonus matches that we get to show these people. It's what some promotions call dark matches. You saw on the screen the Mega Pass. Shano is in the ring. And we're going to get this road on the show. Here comes the answer. The answer made an impact recently when he helped Titus, or attempted to help Titus, win the barbed wire steel cage match just last week. Referee for this match, Mr. Ryan Dow. And here comes the answer. Your main event tonight is not a mega pass match at all, but it is one of those awesome matches that we get to have every once in a while here at IHW. By every once in a while, I mean all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have in your main event here on this week's episode of IHW Unstoppable, we are going to have James Liberty facing, finally unleashed, the Beast of Akadi. The answer says he is the smartest man in all of maritime wrestling, the highest IQ from Brilliant, Ohio. He says he's going to make short work of Black Mamba here tonight. We're going to find out. And his opponent, from parts There's the Black Mamba on his way to face the answer. As I said, we at IHW, we believe in bringing you all of our great matches, whether they're part of this pre-show, as, as some companies call it, or they're part of our main show. We want to bring you all the matches because sometimes it's just something a little bit different. Sometimes you get those little gems, and this is going to be one of those, I bet. And here comes the answer and Black Mamba. These two, no strangers to one another. We're going to see these two men go face to face. Face to mask, I suppose. Referee Ryan Dow making sure that the answer is not hiding any illegal objects, making sure that Mamba isn't. Mamba's a pretty special guy. And we are underway. The answer not only a very intelligent man, also a very gifted artist. Check out his art, old school Andre Mayette. Oh, go behind and wrestling takedown. Oh, and the cockiness, the cockiness of the answer. One thing I've learned, never underestimate your opponent in a professional wrestling ring. Black Mamba wants to make a name for himself. Oh, we have a go behind with Mamba trying to get him up. No, answer blocks it. Whoa, what an elbow right in the side of the mouth. It's two men, Greco Roman knuckle lock. Oh, and the answer. Breaking down Black Mamba with a two count. Forcing the hands down for the knuckle lock. These two men, lots of power in the answer. Definitely a power advantage over Black Mamba. Not a lot that I know about Mamba. Ooh, nip up and a headbutt to the shoulder. Corner cam shaking a bit, Irish whip, reversal. Mamba into the corner, gets out of the way of the answer, and ducks the clothesline. Ooh. Thunderclap, and oh, interesting. 
Variation on the backcracker. Two and no. Mamba able to kick out. Just barely Mamba finding his way to the ropes. Answer following in behind. Choking him on the ropes, whipping him off. Mamba finding his way to the center rope on the other side. And answer following in behind. Ryan Dow giving him that five count. Answer crushing the throat of Black Mamba across that middle rope. Answer now on the outside. Oh, and a kick, just a flat kick to the face. Ryan Dow warning the answer. Answer clubbing forearm to the back of Black Mamba. And all oh, the way over, what a gut wrench, turning him inside out. This could be it, one, two, and no. Not quite enough. Black Mamba able to kick out at the very last second. Answer now. The knee and the spine. Rear chin. Answer yelling at this audience here at the Moncton Lions Club. See some of that great merchandise in the back. You can buy your IHW shirts at Pro Wrestling Tees. Mamba getting this crowd behind him. He's up, elbows to the midsection, no! Answer with the mask, pulling Mamba down to the mat. And a bow. If nothing else, the answer is modest, said me sarcastically. Oh, we got something going on here. Oh, he walks across the throat. Answer, forearm to the face of Black Mamba and another one. Going for the Irish whip. In goes Mamba hard into that corner. Answer, takes a boot. Oh, and a big clothesline by Mamba. And another one. I hear now that we had some sound issues. I'm not entirely sure what that was about. Mamba to the second row, flying back elbow. This could be it, answer. Hooks the leg, two and no. The answer able to kick out at the very last second. Mamba calling for the Calling for the ropes, he's on the second turnbuckle. Off the ropes, caught by answer. This could be it, oh, it's all over. As the answer likes us to say, it is now academic, ring that bell. Your winner. Your winner is the answer. You heard it from Shano himself, our wonderful, wonderful ring announcer, Shano. We'll be back on commentary very, very soon. Next week, we are coming with to you with some amazing talent in an IHW ring. It's Humor Mania. We've got something very special for you, part of the uh, Hubcap Comedy Festival of 2019. We are very excited to bring you the great matches from that event, a uh, very special event featuring WWE former superstar Kurgan amongst many others. Ladies and gentlemen, your next match, referee for this match, Mr. Matt Pettifer. Of course, your ring announcer, Shano. This is the debuting Wraith. Terrifying individual, this woman. I only got to see her for a moment backstage. Oh my goodness, some sort of demon.
she's going to have her hands full. And she is set to face one of the most up and coming mega stars in maritime wrestling today. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, Shanta. If you are in the Greater Moncton area, here in New Brunswick of Canada, sign up. You have Kit Children's Dance for Fitness. Your lead instructor, Chantal. She is on her way to the ring right now. Ring Wraith. Wraith almost looking at referee Matt Pettifer and Chantel with a curiosity. Come on! This, this crowd firmly behind Chantel. These great mega pass matches brought to you by Case Depot CPR Moncton. If you need your Phone needs a case, you need repairs. Go check out Case Depot, CPR Moncton. Right now, we're about to get underway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Collar and elbow tie up. Wraith. Showing some power, putting Chantel into that corner. Collar and elbow tie up again, Chantel. Showing some intestinal fortitude. Chantel pushed all the way down by Wraith. Wraith potentially going for that throat area of Chantel. Go behind by Chantal. Wraith trying to figure out the situation. Oh! Looking for elbows. Chantal finding a way away. Side headlocks is Chantal. Wraith, Irish whip. Oh, what a shoulder tackle by Chantal. And another one. Chantal showing a little bit of power of her own using momentum. Another side headlock by one of the future greats of maritime wrestling, I'm sure. Nice headlock takeover. Chantal keeping control of this creature that has emerged from the backstage area. Wraith now has Chantal into the corner again. Snapmare takeover. And another one. Wraith pulling the hair. Matt Pettifer trying to get Wraith to follow some semblance of rules. And another snapmare takeover. Wraith exerting dominance, kick to the back. Wraith boot to the midsection on Chantal in the corner. And now choking her on the, against the turnbuckle. Referee Matt Pettifer trying to get control of this match, but how do you control someone as unhinged as Wraith? Oh, Chantal with the pie face shove. Ropes. Oh, shoulder tackle. Another shoulder into that corner. Wraith not slowing down, not letting up against Chantal. Slamming Chantal's face into that corner turnbuckle. And a 
again. Chantel hard into that turnbuckle. All the way up, beautiful scoop. Wraith with the slam. Chantal lowing on that, landing on that coccyx area. Could cause some spinal damage. Rear chin lock. Chantal saying she's not ready to give up yet. Looking for this crowd support. Our friends at Brace and Sun Enterprises cheering her on. Elbows to the midsection. What? We in a time loop? Well, that was confusing. And down she goes. Wraith. Oh my goodness, double arm DDT by Wraith. That could be it. Oh my goodness, the screen is blood curdling. Wraith hitting the ropes, looking for a butt splash, not enough. Chantel moves out of the way. Chantel back up, clothesline. Trying to mount a comeback here against Wraith. Nice back elbow by Chantal. To the second rope. What's she going for? Flying clothesline, Chantal make a cover. Hooks the leg. And nope, not enough. Chantal looking for the arm bar, she's got it. Has Wraith in the armbar. Wraith very quickly getting up. Did she just bite Chantal on the leg? Roll up. A little bit of tights and that is it. Wraith takes the victory from the up and comer Chantal. These are two to watch. Here in IHW and in Maritime Wrestling. Wraith. And Chantal. Wraith says that she will heal you. I know for sure she'll terrify you. Wraith on her way out of the uh, out of the ringside area. Chantal left in the ring. Wondering. Coming up next. Man, we got Brian McKay and Jeremy Orr in another great Mega Pass match. And after that, we're into the main show. We're into your main event of this episode of IHW Unstoppable. We're going to see the Beast of Akadi go one on one with the American ambassador, James Liberty. Right now, on his way to the ring, the element. Iron, Jeremy Orr. That's strange, you know, I see someone carry a stool, it's in a bag. Jeremy Orr on his way. Making his way into the ring. Referee for this match, Mr. Ryan Dow. Or telling Dow to get out of the way. It's his corner stool. That's the sound of Flea Market Underground, and that means that is the sound of Brian McKay. The comeback, former IHW television champion. Here comes Brian McKay, ready to go one-on-one -on -one with Jeremy Orr. These two men, neither one of them slouches when it comes to the fists. Those were not the best words I've ever said. Both of these men with very strong boxing backgrounds. Brian McKay, of course, with way more in-ring experience as a professional wrestler. And Jeremy Orr, looking to use those fists uh, to I guess take Brian McKay down a peg. One thing for certain, these two men are going to give you one heck of a match. Our Mega Pass is a great venue 
for our up and comers here in Maritime Wrestling. Some new, newly trained wrestlers, some of them just new to the Maritimes. A great place for them to get some experience and get some matches under their belt. And when you have someone with the experience of Brian McKay in there, Jeremy Orr definitely has lots of learning he can do. Jeremy Orr, a few wins under his belt. These two men are definitely going to be throwing some punches here tonight on IHW Unstoppable. Hey, what do you guys think of this guy? Oh, man! No! No! no. Are you talking about the rapper? <laughs> Brian McKay talking with the crowd. The crowd says Jeremy Orr looks like an old man. Jeremy Orr is roughly 10 years the senior of Brian McKay. Getting professional wrestling later. Ooh. A little bit of a feeling out process. Watch those closed fists. Oh, that's men. Both men looking for that opening. This isn't a boxing match, this is a wrestling match. Okay, looking to wrestle. Oh, there we go. He's got him in the full arm dragon twist with the wrist lock. McKay's got it in tight. And there's another one. And another one. Jeremy Orr goes over. Okay, not slowing down. Oh, Orr with the reverse. Nice wrist locked into the hammer lock. Jeremy Orr from behind. Side headlock. Orr showing some of his own wrestling skill. Oh, goes back to the arm. Into an arm bar, standing arm bar. McKay has him in the corner, Irish whip. Oh, nice shoulder tackle by Orr. Showing a little bit of that power. Don't slow down though, Brian McKay. Quick as a hiccup, all the way up and all the way over. And beautiful arm drag by Brian McKay. Oh, and one by Jeremy Orr, coming right back with his own. Double drop kick, both men back up. Or throwing some feet. Now the punches. Brian McKay covering up. Or scooping a slam. Oh my goodness, right on top of him with the throwing the punches. Referee Ryan Dow trying to get some sem semblance of control in this match. Oh, what a shot to the midsection by Brian McKay making his comeback. Oh, and a club to the kidney area. The element not slowing down, looking for a suplex. Whoa, nice vertical suplex by the element. Looking for the pin, two, and nope, not enough. Got to hook that leg earlier as soon as you're down there. Kick to the kidney area. Kick to the shoulder area. He's got him hooked in that front face lock again. What's he looking for? Oh, knees to the chest. Irish whip. McKay ducks. Sunset flip, and down goes the element. Two, no, not enough. Jeremy Orr able to get out of two. Oh, and a close line, down goes Brian McKay. McKay trying to get to his feet. Orr, jaw jacking with this crowd, needs to pay attention. Oh, so looking for a side rush and leg sweep. Yes, he is, down he goes. Hooks the leg. Gotta hook that leg as soon as you're on there. Look for that leverage. Or pulling McKay into position. Says it's over. What's he looking for? Says he's looking for the rolling punt. Rolling with the punches and he misses it. Jeremy R missed the rolling with the punches. Brian McKay's back to his feet. In he comes. Oh, beautiful calf kick. Drop kick by McKay. 
McKay doing what his name says, making a comeback. Oh, Irish whip reversal. Or with a clothesline misses, Pele kick. Brian McKay. Calling for the 619. And there it is. Right in the face, McKay calling for the top rope. Could be looking for the swanton. McKay loves to finish off his opponents with the swanton. This could be it. He's to the top rope. Off he goes. Oh, he misses. McKay missed the swanton. Or back to his feet. Kick. Front face lock, neck breaker. Or going for the pin. Two. No. McKay, too much left in the tank for that win tonight. Oh, come on now. Jeremy Orr looking for, to use the stool. Ryan Dow takes the stool away. McKay is up. Kick to the midsection. This could be it. Brian McKay, he calls it the style biter. Can he get it? He's looking for those arms. This could be it. And it is all over. There's no way that Jeremy Orr is kicking out of that one. Brian McKay with the style biter. And that is it. Brian McKay victorious here on IHW Unstoppable, showing Jeremy Orr what a little bit of experience will do for a man. Coming up next, your main event. Your main event, the American ambassador, James Liberty, tests his medal against the beast of Akadi. The dream is finally over, the Akkadian dream. Remy Petit is gone. He has let out the beast of Akadi. So away goes the dream. In comes the nightmare. Let's get this match underway. Shano's in the ring. And here comes what we know now as the beast of Akadi. Three hundred pounds. Here he comes. Oh my goodness! Look at the beast of Akadi. Making his way into the ring. The man formerly known as Remy Petit, formerly known as the Acadian Dream. He is now the Beast of Akari, and Shano doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Referee Ryan Dow staying out of the Beast's way as well. Oh, there it is, Old Glory. That only means one person on his way to the ring, the American ambassador. James Liberty on his way, taking his time. And there he is, James Liberty. American ambassador to Canadian professional wrestling. This man is no slouch. Says he weighs in at 205 live. He was once known as Mark Thomas. As he faced Noam Dar on WWE TV. But to us, he's James Liberty. And he is taking his time getting into that ring. Says he is the most loved wrestler in the Maritimes and that he only uses the best moves. And here he comes. Not showing an ounce of intimidation from the Beast of Akadi. That may be a mistake on the part of James Liberty. But here we are, the Beast just hanging, waiting.
Liberty. Looking for recognition from this crowd. This crowd not interested. Looking for love for his native United States of America. Referee Ryan Dow calling for the bell and this match is underway. Oh, the Beast of Akari grabbing the American flag. Liberty wants no part of the Beast of Akari holding that flag, the, saying he's going to break it. Saying he's going to break the pole, the American flag is on. Oh, Liberty saves his flag, saves old glory, and now waving it in, a, in the middle of this ring, might I add, in Canada. All right, these two men finally squaring off. And, oh. Oh, Beast of Akadi. Liberty goes under, gives him a shot with that right hand. The Beast not impressed. Liberty backing off again. Beast misses. And another right hand by James Liberty. And again, the Beast shakes it off. Going straight toward Liberty. Liberty ducks again. And another right hand. Uh oh, the Beast. He's got him in there. Now these are some right hands and lefts. Oh, and a rake to the eyes by Liberty. Some, still some semblance of sanity there. Uh-oh. That's not any way you're going to be taking out the Beast of Akadi. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's not a lot going on in that head anymore. Uh-oh. Whoa. Liberty on his way out. No, Beast stops him. All the way up, atomic drop. An inverted atomic drop. Ducks the clothesline. Ba -ba -bomb. James Liberty feeling it now. This match could be over before it's begun. All the way over goes Liberty. And the beast of Akadi staring some poor kid in the eye. Liberty on the ground, beast in the ring. This could very well be enough. Oh, back chop by the beast. Could be looking for another one. Oh, he's got him against the ring apron. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see it, but I heard it. Something going on with the lights here in the Moncton Lions Club. Beast of Akadi following James Liberty. Oh, right into that apron. Oh, my goodness. Beast of Akadi. Not relenting. Uh oh. Oh. Liberty floats over, puts the Beast into that corner post. Gets himself in the ring, telling referee Ryan Dow to count. James Liberty looking for an easy way out and still get that W. No, Beast of Akadi rolls into the ring. Whoa, all the way over. Nice fist drop by Liberty. Liberty. Jaw jacking with his crowd here at the Moncton Lions Club in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Dropping those fist drops. Oh, and there's another one. Right to the middle of the forehead of the beast. Oh. 
Oh, the shoulder tackles. Liberty looking for an Irish whip, reversal. Up and over. Liberty on his way to the top rope. Off, and yes, he catches him. Double chop to the Beast of Akari, takes him down, hooks the leg, not enough. Only a two count. Ooh. Nicely placed forearm. Oh, and an elbow right to the sh shoulder blade. Oh, and another one. Maybe looking to do damage to that clavicle. Referee Ryan Dow checking in on the Beast of Akadi. I don't know what you're planning on getting at him. Telling James Liberty to get off that choke. Liberty off the ropes. Oh, my goodness. And now holding the choke with his legs. Liberty basking in the glory here at the Moncton Lions Club. I understand we're having technical difficulties again with our sound. We'll get that fixed as soon as we possibly can. There it is. It's, it's back. Liberty. Got the beast. Oh, my goodness. Oh my! What a backsplash! Not enough. Ramy right, Petit back to his feet. He's got him on his shoulders. Could be an Acadian drop. No! Liberty off. Ducks the line. Oh, Spear! This is it! It's all over! No! Liberty somehow able to kick out after a spear from the Beast of Akadi. The Beast surprised. Free Ryan Dow checking on Liberty. The Beast looking for another spear potentially. Liberty to his feet. And oh my goodness! He caught him. Caught him with a high knee. And Donald Thump on 320 pound beast of Akadi. This could be it, no. I thought it was all over right there. That was a lot of weight to be dropped. Liberty heading to the top rope. What's he going to do? What's his plan? Oh, looking for the splash, he misses. Calls it the 50 star frog splash. Beast of Akadi, another spear, this is it. James Liberty, and that is it. Ryan Dow counts the three. The Beast of Akadi. Not interested in Ryan Dow's opinion of the match. The Beast of Akadi, victorious here. On IHW Unstoppable, ladies and gentlemen. Next week, we start bringing you Humor Mania going to be a fantastic time stay tuned lots of great stories you're going to see one of the best events we've ever put on an ihw here in moncton new brunswick straight from the moncton lions club old glory draped over james liberty and the beast of akadi on his way out of the ring ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning into ihw unstoppable right here on fight tv we will see you next week it's going to be fantastic. Until next week.